Hey guys, it's Colin from Brilliant Labs, and welcome to my digital skill event. Today we are doing something a bit different, because the goal of this event isn't to teach you a specific skill. It's for you to find a skill related to your interests, and learn how to expand on that skill. For example, if you like playing video games, why not start learning how to do some video game programming? Or maybe learn how to start making art for video games, or even music. So, to start off, we've made a choose your own adventure type of game. As you can see here, there are three roads, arts, technology, and sports. We're going to continue with the video game theme, so we're going to click technology. Now here we have games, photography, and videos, because all of these things fall into technology. We're going to go on to games, and then we have programming and we have game art. We're going to click programming. As you can see, there's all this text going over the different resources that you can use in order to start getting into game programming. So for example, the top thing I have here is Scratch, which is what we're obviously programming this in. Scratch is a great way to start learning how to do video game programming because it's specifically meant for beginners. The thing is though, you don't have to learn how to do Scratch on your own. You can go onto YouTube and type in something like Scratch Tutorial for Beginners and a whole bunch of stuff will pop up. So that's sort of the goal of this entire segment is to teach you how to be able to learn to go and do those things on your own. Because if you're not waiting for somebody else to teach you something, then there's an entire world out there where you can learn anything that you want to, any skill that you want to, and you can start learning it right now. So you're going to notice that I included links to some of these tutorials and because of the way Scratch works, we can't actually click them. But what we can do is select this backdrops and then click backdrops up here and it will bring us to this text. So now if we click it, we can actually copy this YouTube video and then paste it and then the scratch tutorial comes up. So that is essentially what you're going to be doing for all of these. So I'm also going to give a little lesson on how this was created. So we have this variable called current backdrop and that is going to determine what icons and backdrops are shown. So for example, because here we have this giant heart, we named this backdrop hearts. So if you click on the technology sprite, you're going to notice it says if current backdrop equals hearts, then show, else hide. So whenever we go to a different backdrop, technology will no longer be displayed because we don't want it to be displayed. But if we click on technology, it sets current backdrop to technology. So if we click on our technology, our current backdrop is now changed to technology. So all of these things like arts, for example, are no longer visible because current backdrop is no longer hearts. So if you go through all of these, it's actually basically the exact same thing every time. We're just switching to a new backdrop, changing our variable, and then showing and hiding icons depending on what current backdrop we're on. We also implemented this back button and basically what that's going to do is when you click it, it's going to determine what backdrop you're on so that it can know which backdrop to go back to. So for example, if we click arts, we are now on the arts backdrop. And if we click back, then we want to go back to hearts. Same as if we click technology or sports. So we have this if statement that says if backdrop name equals sports or backdrop name equals arts or backdrop name equals technology, then we're going to switch back to hearts. And then if we go to music and visual arts, for example, if we click one of these, then we expect the back to bring us back to here. So we have this if backdrop name equals music or if backdrop name equals visual arts, switch backdrop back to arts and set the variable to arts. So it just redoes this for the entire thing. And then of course we want to make sure that the back button isn't visible if we're on hearts because we can't go back if we're on the main screen. So that's going to cover today's digital skill. Remember the point of this is to figure out what you want to do and then continue building off of that. So I really encourage you to look through these and figure out a skill of your choice 
and then continue to expand upon it using YouTube tutorials, using Google, and using some of the resources that we've provided for you. Thanks for checking out today's digital skill. Stay brilliant.